All right, Shy. Everybody wants to know how we make your food, so I think it's about time we show them. Ready to show them? All right, let's show them. First thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 325. Oops. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Preheat the oven. Now, we gotta get out our first ingredient. First ingredient is boneless, skinless chicken breast. Put it in the roasting pan, and then you gotta put it in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Absolutely no seasonings, no additives, nothing is added to the chicken. You smell it already, don't you? We have, we have to cook it though. Um, I do want to remind you guys though, before I finish telling you how to do this, this diet is specifically designed for Shiloh. Um, if you're interested in, if you have a dog that has sensitive stomach issues and things like that, allergies, um, balanceit.com is actually where you can go to design a diet like this for your own dog. So you definitely don't want to do exactly what we're doing for your dog because it, it may not work for your dog. This is designed specifically around Shiloh's age, weight, allergies, and breed, actually. So remember that. You don't really want to, because Shelby doesn't get this food. This is only Shiloh food. One more thing. When I make this, I usually make 10 pounds at a time, but since I only have one roaster, I usually make this many, and then i got to put this many more in. So I actually have to do this twice. <laughs> First batch of chicken is out of the oven. Now we're going to take it off of this rack, move it to another rack, let it cool, and put the next batch of chicken into the oven. Can you smell it? I bet you can smell it. And because Shelby doesn't always get the same special treatment, I save the chicken juice from the bottom of the pan to mix on her dry food to make, it, make her think she's getting something a little special. You look like you're waiting for something. Are you waiting for something too? Want a piece of chicken? Oh, you want a piece of chicken? Now comes the loud part. Once the chicken is cooked, I take it and I quarter each of the breasts because they're really big. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to use the food processor and I'm going to put them in the food processor, turn it on, and it'll spin around and be really loud. And then I dump it all into here. <laughs> so I have to take all this and turn it into chicken dust. Not really dust. Kind of like fine granules. And then dump it into here. And then we can move on to the next step. And now we have chicken granules. <laughs> uh, the other nice thing about making it really fine like this is when we mix it together in Shiloh's food, instead of having big chunks of chicken that she can just pick out, she kind of has no choice but to eat the chicken and the quinoa. Right? Right? I don't know why you girls are in here. It smells like chicken in here. Now on to the next step. I need to take this chicken, I need to weigh it out to 99.2 grams, and then we put it in these little bags, and I roll them up and stick them in the freezer. So now we gotta take the chicken, put it in here, weigh it out, put it in the bag. Okay, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. There's all the chicken. I actually ended up with one month plus two days of it. Now I just gotta put it in the freezer, and then I'll, now I'll show you guys what I do when I take it out of the freezer for when I make Shadow's food. Now I'm going to show you guys what I do on a daily basis when I actually make Shiloh's food now that all the prep work is done. First, got to boil two cups of water. Bring that to a boil. boil. <laughs> Once the water is at a rolling boil, we're going to pour in one cup of quinoa, spelled Q-U-I-N-O-A. You want to look it up to find out what it is. It's a grain. It's actually considered one of the super fruits. Oh, that's interesting. My thing looks purple in here, but in real life it's red. Pour this into the two cups of boiling water, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back to a boil, cover it, and then turn it down on medium and cook it for 15 minutes. And yes, I realize I said super fruits. I mean super foods. After 15 minutes, now it's done. Now what we do, part of the reason that I freeze the chicken is this is way too hot to feed to Shiloh, and she's kind of impatient. So what I do is I open this up, set it in the bottom of the bowl, I pour this on top of it, and let it cool. Once it gets cool enough, then I'll add the additives to it, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Now it's time to mix in the last few ingredients into Shiloh's food. I have to mix in one teaspoon of cod liver oil, a quarter of a teaspoon of corn oil, just a quarter of a teaspoon, a little tiny bit for all this food. And then we add this supplement from balanceit.com. Um, 
And for Shiloh, she gets one black scoop and eight white scoops. And here, I'll open it up and show you what it is. These are the scoops, so you guys have an idea when I say one black scoop and eight white scoops. White scoops are little tiny scoops. And this is what the stuff looks like. It's just a powdered vitamin supplement that I then have to mix into her food to make sure she gets. So we add all this stuff together and then it's ready for her to eat it. And there you go, Shy. Now she gets to munch on her food. Sometimes she'll eat the whole bowl, sometimes she'll eat half of it, and actually what I'll do is I'll end up putting it in the fridge and I'll give the rest of it to her in the morning. Um, really just depends on how she feels, whether or not she wants to eat it all. Some of you have asked if she's gotten bored with it yet. She's still eating it, so I don't think she's gotten bored with it yet. So there is how we have to take all that special time just to make special shoot food. <laughs> Special food for special shy. Right, Shiloh? Are you special? Oh, you special. Yeah. And don't feel bad. She'll be special too. I usually, if I don't have chicken juice, I'll sprinkle a little bit of the quinoa into Shelby's food. Today I had leftover chicken pieces because I made more chicken, so I sprinkled that into her food. So Shelby doesn't get left out. She gets treated special too. Shiloh just gets treated extra special. Thanks for watching, you guys. Oh